Guys, what is going on and welcome to our reaction channel where we react to anything and everything, guys. If you're new, I just want to say welcome to St. Fair's Reaction, all right? Hope you guys love all the reactions that I have going on on the channel, all right? There's something new going up um, daily, if not daily, then weekly, all right? If you have something for me to watch, just leave it on the comments and the videos. Leave the link, leave anything. If you're a newcomer, welcome. Thank you guys so much and welcome. Hope you have fun. Happy, happy Friday the 13th. Ooh, spooky. All right. So um, I don't know when these videos are going to go out, but it's definitely not going to go out today on the 13th. All right. Because, uh, yeah, it's, it's yeah, um, the rendering and stuff like that. These are big videos. All right. But they will go out. All right. When you guys see them, I hope you guys enjoy it. And I promise I'm not going to jump scare you guys. All right. In these, in these next videos, I'm not going to jump scare you. I promise. I promise. Now, before you start, guys, like always, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the love and support on the channel. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, all right? A lot of videos going out. I love and I appreciate so many guys. And let's go. Let's get scared. Number 15. Let's do it, all right? Got my headphones on, my chocolate skin. I got my big-ass bottle of water. It's like the same size as my face. All right, let's do it. Number 15. Number 15, someone's at 15. the door. A home security camera caught <laughs> the scary sight of Corvina. Posted by Ruby Gonzalez in December of 2018, Ruby writes, two individuals tried to enter a home. One knocked on the door and called out the resident's first name several times. The family was wow. home at the time. You can see one of the men approach with his hood up and a kerchief covering his mouth, wearing a backpack. He knocks on the door, waiting with his head down, likely aware of where the security camera is located. A second dude also approaches, dressed in the same fashion. He's carrying a crowbar. They knock a wow. second and third time, alerting a small dog inside. When a car passes, they both turn to look down the street and ensure there are no witnesses. He knocks several more times saying, come on, bro. But the second dude eventually taps him on the arm, indicating it's time to give up and leave, which thankfully they do. Whatever what the they hell? came for, they left empty handed. Number 14. That's not scary. Wake that's, up. that's crazy. This isn't a gentle good morning. Published to YouTube by C4CAT in March of 2018. This is what happens when an early bird of a ghost is angry that you're not up yet. The video shows a man asleep in bed as window curtains okay. nearly blow, at times pushing the entire curtain to the side. The young man at first remains okay. undisturbed by this. At one point when the curtain is brushed over, you can see something white appear behind the bars of the window. Then an obscure flash of white passes close to the camera. Shortly after, there's a slow disturbance in the man's blanket. Part of it lifts until the entire blanket nope. blows up. It's then ripped off nope. of him by an unseen force. Like a bucket of cold water, this is one alarm clock you wouldn't want to wake up to. Like a bucket of cold water. Oh, hell no. Nah. First of all, first of all, bro, listen, man. I don't even, the way that my windows are set up right now, you cannot see in this room. The way his window is set up right now, I don't care how hot it is. These windows are not staying open. Hell no. Dude, bro, that's crazy. That's crazy. Dude, number 13, the witch in white. How would you feel if your CCTV camera caught this? Posted to the, the ghost hell? subreddit by Relevant Hole 5903 This footage of a woman in white was caught on camera in the dark of night. It shows a ghostly figure in white crossing the grounds outside of a gated building with barbed wire fixed to the top. The stranger mm. walks slowly in her flowing dress until she leaves the camera's sight. Some are suggesting this is a classic walk of shame. Others think the Redditor lives next to some shady stuff, but some are sure it's the legendary La Lorena. If it is, stay clear of water, because the legend goes that she would take your life in the water. 
Redditor Blues Forever Not 67 Larry. writes, This is one of those instances where I think, what if we see ghosts all the time, but they're so vivid that Hell we just no. think they're people? I have to agree with that oh. statement. My oh. mind has been blown by this footage. Number 12, Red Faced Entity. You don't want this what? guy popping up in your next Bruh. selfie. Posted to the ghost subreddit, Princess Lena87 explains that there was no one else in the. That is some fucking, um. What's that movie? What's that movie? Oh my god. What's that one scare movie with the demon with the red face? Fuck, I forgot. That movie was scary as shit. I forgot the name of that movie. Oh my god. What the fuck is the name of that movie? I don't remember, but that movie was... In the room when this video mm. was recorded, except apparently That's this insane devil. red face who popped up behind them. The clip That's shows two friends recording a selfie video, laughing and having fun. As the video pans mm -hmm. right, nothing is behind them, but when it pans left again, a slimy red figure appears over their shoulders. Lena shares the screenshot in the comments. Well, some think it's Snape, others suggest something not from a Harry Potter book, and rather an entity that is quite nefarious. Redditor Man, Analytical the Amy writes, it may just be there. some freakish weirdness. Mm -hmm. But was there ever a fire close by or in that house over the years? Later saying that it looks like someone who was in the home during something like this. Whether you think this is the case or not, one piece of advice, don't turn this around. I believe this video is 100% real and that only makes it all the more scarier. <laughs> Number 11, different city <laughs> Tell me don't turn around. These two Fuck. unidentified flying object sightings are eerily similar. Posted on Reddit by GamersGen, these two sightings from Miami and Beijing are comparative. The first appeared in Beijing on February 3rd, 1995. The unidentified flying object hovers as an illuminated yellow disc in the evening sky. After a while, it starts to glide slowly overhead. GamersGen posts a second video in the comments, one which looks similar to the first but was captured on October 20th, 1995. 1995. I was one years this old. unidentified flying object was spotted along a freeway. The driver pulled over to capture it hovering near an apartment complex and then over Miami airport. That's GamersGen suggests that today, unidentified flying objects aren't seen as often for a reason. His theory? They have become more cautious and further said, they seem to be extremely aware of us observing them, and above all, they don't want to be compromised. What do you think? It makes sense to me. Yeah. And these two sightings yeah. are certainly quite similar. Number 10, Multi-Legged Flying 10. Beast. This creature in the sky what? is unidentifiable, but it's got six legs. We originally came across this video on the Spanish speaking scary video community in June of 2019. The thing appears to have a pin head, multiple crab like legs, and finally wings. As you can see, when it takes off from the tree branch, it's crouched upon. The creature looks extraterrestrial. It's certainly something nobody has seen on Earth. Whatever it is, you don't want this monster hiding under your bed. We managed to track down the original oh, source, no. and this turns out to be a oh, CGI no. creature made by the Nicaraguan oh. YouTube team, JJPD Producciones. So if you come across this video Fuck because you, it's JJPD. spreading all over the internet, <laughs> now you know its, it's true fake. origins. Number 9, Vanishing Act. Now you see him, now you don't. Posted by Caligram to the Chills Narrator subreddit. This clip appeared on YouTube's Scary World of Videos in October of 2020. Men in a forested area are just hanging out when a stranger is seen walking in the background. He passes behind a tree but doesn't come out the other side. The cameraman walks oh, towards shit. the tree and circles it entirely, but the man seems to have disappeared into thin air. The camera even pans up to see if he climbed the tree, but there's just no way. Where did he go? One Redditor, Shabba Bull, has the answer in the comments. He went back to the year he, he came hell. from. Do you think this is the case or is this clever he editing? I wish I knew for sure. So all I can say for he now is I think gulag. this footage gulag. is definitively mysterious. <laughs> hey, hey, he got sent to the Shadow Realm. I, I, I don't care. I, I, hey, he got... 
that dude, that dude's gone. He's gone. Either Scorpion came up and took him down to the underworld, or he got sent to the Gulag, or he got sent to the Shadow Realm. I don't know. Either or, he's gone. Yes. Number Damn. eight, Fiery Phantom, posted to the Chills Narrator what? subreddit by Bro, Salo Mac and originally published to YouTube by Bike Jin in March of 2020. This paranormal investigator may have just crossed paths with something very nefarious. While exploring no, the abandoned house, something. the investigator spies this creepy witchy woman in the something. hallway. Flames suddenly spark, running down the length of the hallway and flying up into the air in the adjacent room. It then falls in a giant blaze to the floor, burning in a ball on the carpet. For a time, the investigator watches the flames burn. It burns low, but then it bursts again, while the door behind it swings closed and then opens repeatedly. Is this a jinn's doing? Or maybe a witch's? Either way, get the heck out of there. Number 7. Indonesia Magic some things you have to see to believe. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Wretched Catalyzer says this video was captured in 2007 in Indonesia. The Redditor writes, Since access from the main city to village is far enough, they use magic to lift this extra weight mosque dome to the top. Reported by local news, the footage shows a dome appearing to float in the sky. While on the ground, the people chant, the, the dome appears to be fluttering in the wind, so it's unclear what it's made of or whether its materials could explain the seemingly miraculous levitation. It continues to rise higher into the sky while people chant and cry out. Many in the comments think a pulley system might come into play, while others are suggesting yeah, it's, it's just a balloon system. floating. Redditor sign it's, local it's, writes, yeah. so after this when yeah. you see an unidentified flying object, it's just floating construction tools. Either sounds supernatural <laughs> to me. Number 6. Dashcam Ghost Would you stop and investigate if you captured this on Dashcam? Published to YouTube by Crooked Pixel in September of 2017. This dashcam footage will have you paying closer attention to the road at night. Captured in July of 2012 at 1 in the morning, the video shows nope. a driver cruising down a highway. All is nope. normal until this happens. And ghost was like a white ghostly sheep floats over the road. You can hear the driver take a sharp intake of breath. The sheet is billowing nope. in the wind as it floats upwards nope. in the darkness, but the driver speeds on past it without stopping. Many in the comments nope. think it's CGI. Well, James Brady says, that was a piece of paper or a plastic bag blowing in the wind. What do you think? That's a big ass piece as a of paper. driver, would you stop or accelerate? Number five, Man. ascending spirit. Yeah. This ghost <laughs> sighting will send chills down your spine. Published to YouTube by TechWorld TV in August of 2014, this video shows a haunted Hindu cremation site. A man arrives at this site in India to investigate a local story. According to the man, he mm -hmm. was walking down this dirt road when he saw an entity at this place. The investigator explains that passed away individuals are taken there for their last rites. Nobody lives here, apart from packs of stray dogs. As the man navigates around the puddles on the wet road to approach the ceremonial sites, dogs start barking like crazy at a distance. In this place. This place. Then the man shouts that he just saw an entity floating from the building further back. Upon closer inspection of the video, you can see the oh, white the vapor white the man is talking about. It appears in the darkness under the veranda before floating up and then vanishing. While some point out the vapor moves simultaneously with the camera. One Redditor, Ricky Jaikaran notes, I would have said it was a smudge on the camera if the dogs hadn't started to bark at the same time. What do you think? Coincidence or a spirit yeah, ascending? Yeah, dogs, dogs can sense. Number four, dogs abandoned care stuff. home creeper. Someone is watching uh -huh. you. Published to YouTube by Finders Beepers History Seekers in they August of 2020. Me. The channel writes, Matt and Andy are reunited in this week's Creepy Explorer, an abandoned care home that was shut down for reports of terrible living conditions. Although it was shut down, maybe something paranormal stuck around. About 20 minutes into the edited video, the pair are headed up the stairs when they see this. 
Just a homeless person. Heading up to the Just second level, person. a figure moves across the upper hallway in the darkness. No. Unbeknownst to Mike no. and Andy, the shadowy no. menace was clearly watching them. The pair calls out no. to the person, but no answer. They consider backing down, but they think there's someone on the bottom floor as well. They decide to take their chances upward, but when they head up there, they find there's no one on the landing. And in fact, that landing where the figure crossed over doesn't even lead to another room. There's no way out. Some in the comments think the figure was the spirit of a former patient or staffer. Open Paranormal writes, I think you just caught some of the best paranormal activity I've ever seen. There's clearly no one around, but you could clearly see a shadow of someone up there. We'd have to agree. This one seems genuine. Number three, ah, maybe. the cathedral. I could be a homeless person. Originally posted to YouTube by Dark Pirate Stories in October of 2020, this haunting clip takes you on a walkthrough of the Church of Ghosts in the Czech Republic. The cathedral is full of faceless statues covered in stone cloaks. Sitting in the pews, the image is unsettling, but it's meant to be. Lying east of Prague in a small town, this place has been around since the 14th century. When the roof collapsed in Damn. 1968, it went abandoned. Some said it was haunted. In a bid to restore it, local resident Peter Kugel, an art student, Jacob Hadrava, teamed up with the latter, creating this eerie installation to draw people and interest to the location. It worked. So far, they've been able to repair the roof, and this location continues to get big attention online. Number two, you? abandoned remains. Will you expect to find some creepy stuff in an abandoned funeral home? Abandoned remains are probably not among the usual suspects. Published to YouTube by RNK All Day in March of 2020, the channel writes, we found ashes inside an abandoned funeral home that was condemned due to the funeral director leaving and hiding bodies. It was located in North Carolina. That's weird. It was closed down in 2012 after client complaints. The funeral home's former owner was put behind bars for not burying the individuals. RNK All Day explores this home and its unnerving history. Amongst the creepy That's things creepy. found inside what? are Polaroids of the passed on individuals and a squatter's bed made up inside the building. But of course, the most unsettling thing they encountered was a bag of ashes in a torn cardboard box. According to a timestamp on the box, they were from 1995, wow. meaning they've remained there for over two decades. Let's hope they finally received a proper burial. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've no, made it this far, no why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next five Fuck. seconds? Because we upload a new scary video every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow Buy button to Instagram. find out. Number one, the haunted door. Whether you believe in ghosts or not, fear can take your breath away. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Tyler12798 explains that he took this video while he was 12 at his mom's office. Tyler writes, There were rumors that a ghost named Kevin roamed the place. One day I recorded this. We heard deep moaning coming from a window. Let's see what happened next. You. Get out of the door. Get out of the door. Close it. I can't. Now open it. Close it. Open it. Open it. A wooden door kept slamming and swinging of its own accord. According to Tyler, all the windows were closed when this occurred, so it was unlikely to be an issue of airflow. Some in the comments know that they have never captured the other side of the door on film, so there might have been someone True. behind opening and shutting it. Tyler claims there True. was no one. In the comments, Tyler also writes that when he returned from the bathroom, a sticky note on the door read, Kevin was here. While many insist that outside airflow caused this, we'd like to think it was the Home Alone ghost playing practical jokes. So do you think this has Home a Alone rational ghost. or paranormal explanation? Thanks for checking out this video. Yo, why am I doing this to myself? Please, someone tell me, why, 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 why am I doing this to myself? It's like 11 at night, but you know what? Friday the 13th, right? Why am I doing this to myself? I have to go to sleep. I'm gonna have bad dreams. Oh my God.
I don't know why am I doing this. All right. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Fuck, I hate myself. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you the next one. All right. Peace. Guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that reaction video. Um, uh, guys, make sure you check the description and also make sure you check the playlist on the channel because it has a lot of videos that I reacted to. All right, be safe out there and hit that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, hit that like button and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, peace.